For this edition of the Matrix Minute, I'm speaking with Eric Fair, who's Director of Client Happiness here at Matrix Group, and Ray Stankiewicz, who's the digital cowboy here at Matrix Group. So, gentlemen, why should organizations in 2011 develop a mobile strategy? Ray? Great question, Joanna. Um, what we've really seen as a small business uh, at Matrix Group ourselves is that a lot of small business professionals are really continuing to adopt mobile platform strategies. I think I saw a statistic the other day that I think it's about 24% of association executives are starting to use or, or actually own a tablet device, and they find it really crucial in a lot of their work. We're also expecting tablet sales to double in the next year, uh, both Android tablets and also our favorite, the iPad. Well, yeah, and, and among our clients ourselves, you know, we really do consider ourselves to be early adopters of a lot of the really the latest and greatest in terms of new gadgets, but what we've been seeing lately is a lot more increased use of mobile platforms, tablet devices, smartphones at, you know, at our client meetings and with our customers. We're even seeing it in the usage reports, Eric, that in Google Analytics yes. is telling us that... Mobile users are going up. Google Analytics has special reports for all of the different mobile devices and mobile platforms, and we're seeing that steadily increase over time. So uh, mobile use is getting bigger. So one of the things that you're going to want to consider is how can you make sure that your website and your other offerings are mobile friendly. So first, we want to think about making sure that just your, your existing website can be accessed via a mobile device, whether it's an iPhone, an iPad, a tablet computer, a Blackberry, anything that's mobile and on the go. Um, as you start increasing your mobile offerings, you might consider doing a dedicated mobile site uh, that has a reduced subset of your content that would appeal to people who are on the go. And then ultimately, you can get to a mobile app that's native for that device that maybe just uh, promotes your brand or does something fun that interacts with people, or maybe it's something simpler like for the association executive on the go, getting your contact information right there from your mobile phone to figure out who's within 15 miles of you currently so that you can drop in and pay a visit. Yeah, I mean, the question is always to consider the use case. So find out from your audience what they want to do, what types of things they want to access, what type of functionality, what things they want to accomplish while they're on the go, and then just be sensitive and think about how you can factor that in and be responsive. So who do you think is doing a good job? Give us some sample sites. Sure, uh, absolutely. Uh, the media and the press have done a really tremendous job in getting started with a lot of the mobile platforms that are out there, whether it's the CNN site, uh, the NPR site, the Fox News site. What you're seeing from a lot of these groups is that they have a dedicated web presence, and then they have a lot of different subtleties for the users so that you know, as they're going through or reading an article, as they're clicking through to rem you know, remember and you know, where the user left off and you know, how to design for the small screen. And Eric, any of our clients doing cool things? Uh, the Food Marketing Institute has just put out a great mobile site for one of their upcoming conferences. Um, it quickly allows the attendees to find out information about the sessions uh, so they can figure out where they need to go next. Uh, it also has some cool add-ons like showing the Twitter conversations that are happening. So you can quickly from your phone see what people are talking about about the conference on Twitter. Awesome. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the Matrix Minute. Don't forget to connect with us on our blog and social media. For more information, go to matrixgroup.net.